Meanwhile, staying on the story, RMB's Infrastructure Sector Solutions team has successfully secured 50 billion rand in financing for renewable energy pro projects rather in South Africa over the past year, addressing the country's energy challenges. The bank has provided essential funding for initiatives like the Renewable Energy Independent Power Producer Procurement Program and the Risk Mitigation Independent Power Producer Procurement Program, as well as private sector projects. Now, according to Head of Infrastructure Sector Solutions at RNB, Judy Quibus, these initiatives are expected to power 500,000 households and generate approximately 50,000 jobs. Additionally, RMB is investing in significant grid upgrades to enhance connection capacity and plans to support further investments in overhead lines through the new trans National Transmission Company of South Africa. Private power has really focused on industrial players, like in the, uh, the energy intensive user groups, the mining houses, as yeah. I've mentioned. But also it was restricted to entities that were connected to an ESCOM connection, right? With um, municipal connections not really entering the space. So there's a lot of innovation that needs to be done to allow for municipal wheeling. So allowing to wheel power over in a municipal network, which is where then the townships and the township communities are actually located as well. So, so RMB is working with a number of IPPs who are looking to unlock this, um, and we're looking for at solutions un around unlocking municipal wheeling. That said, also, uh, I would say that the social element in our deals is always critical as well. So the projects that we do fund, I mean, they do have economic development uh, obligations and social economic development obligations for the communities that they are located in. So usually there is some percentage of a co local community trust shareholding in that project. Uh, some percentage of those revenues are also that the project generates are also used then for community initiatives that then bolster the communities. I mean, if you go to the Northern Cape, where the bulk of the current IPPs are located, particularly on the solar generation side, you can actually see the impact of those projects on the local communities.